shift from shrooms to Skyrim. With Nana and Hyrule. This is episode 174 from Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram featuring Sean and Carlos. The show neither by Shrooms nor by Skyrim. Those are just the motherfucking parameters now. Here's a word on our sponsors. God, God damn, damn it. it. This episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, Home of the Fish Taco, Happy Hour, Monday to Friday, 3 to 7, Taco Tuesdays, Tacos Half Off. Sandbar, Coconut Grove. This episode also brought to you by The Last Carrot at 3133 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133. They're open Monday through Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Family owned since 1975, your go-to place for fresh, wholesome eats, The Last Carrot. Yo, we got to get Lost mm-hmm. We got to get Lost City and Sandbar together. Right? Didn't we talk about that? Uh, that's no idea, bro. No, not no with the with the dude from <laughs> no with the dude from set uh, with uh, Brett with Brett. What's that noise? The Sounds water? like water. One day, your skull will be as empty as a conch shell on a fence post, full of wind and gentle quiet. Today, it's a cauldron of ghosts. Flesh and electricity, water and memory, a machine that makes reality. Now, here, your skull is the garden where fact flowers into meaning. Yo, we got more of uh, Carlos's family up in this bitch. Motherfucking Danny from Lost City Brewing. How's it going, guys? What's up, bro? Uh, getting la lucha. Yeah, this is my cousin Danny. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I had to wait for someone else to invite him onto the podcast before I did. Uh, my I, other cousin's like, hey, he says you'd never come on because you'd never want to come over. It's like, that's bullshit. He never calls me. <laughs> yeah. I, I just figured he was busy with, you know, ru- you know, running a brewery and brewing brewing beer and living, a, you know. Brewing. And, brewing bird. Living and pretty and far. Brain. And wrangling grain. Yeah. Wrangling a fuck ton of grain. <laughs> Yo, yeah. let me tell you. I see, I see Joey tracks once a week, every week. And every week he's like, yo, tell Gabby he's a fucking piece of shit. Danny said that he never asked him to come on the pod. It's true. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, but yeah, I knew I was going to get shit for her. And, of course. And so then, so then Carlos tells me, he's like, you know what? You asked Danny to come on the pod and then they're going to come and talk even more shit about it. He says, I'm not even going to ask him after this. You, you got to be the one to invite him. You set it up. Yeah. I was like, I was just, I just wanted to trigger people and just be like, I know he's going to be upset because I didn't invite him. So I don't care. I'll, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just instigating it. I was just instigating though. Man, what a bad cousin! I was waiting for you and Joy to be here and be like, "Bro, I had to invite you before your cousin actually has a podcast." Before, 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 before. You guys aren't even related. You guys are related through marriage. How many times? <laughs> how many times, bro? That's fucked up. How dude. many times have I spoken about Lost City on this podcast? I see you wear the hat dude, all the time. You talk about Lost City every day, dude. The second I get in your car, you're like, "Bro, fucking here's that new Lost City IPA, dog." <laughs> yeah, I start drinking and driving. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really well made hat. Yeah, Thank this you. is like have to the nicest hat that i own god damn like that I got, yeah I got they're nice they're nice top. builds no they're not like just some like it's a we'll it's send a thank you card to the little 12 year old chinese kid to put <laughs> together yeah <laughs> thank well, you ting ting <laughs> well he's 13 now because i think he got if a he year made ago. it oh he, oh, he we'll send him it. like a ps3 or something i don't know if the suicide nets there. hold up we'll send him that xbox that yeah. you want to run yeah, yeah. for <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, it's a it's a it's a really it's a it's a good fit and the fucking the embroidery fucking pops. It's a high quality garment. Can they take a? Can we? Uh, is that on? Is that on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, that, okay, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's on camera over here. This is a show by y'all's monitor. Yeah. Um. So, uh, can you tell us a little about a little bit about Lost City? Uh, 
something a little bit about like the brand and a little bit about uh who La City is and uh what you guys do. Sure. And the, I I want to know why why the name La City and uh cuz I know where we are. Atlantis? <laughs> 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 I think so. I think I know where we are. So before ever actually getting into beer, I was studying anthropology. Spent a couple of years in Spain working on an archaeological dig. Mm. And then came back here one summer. A buddy of mine had taken the course at a FIU on how to brew. He's like, hey, you want to learn how to make beer? Me and a couple of buddies got together. We brewed the batch. We got hooked. I'm like, fuck archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> and pretty much mm. the brand just started growing from there. That was back in 2011. Started home brewing then for probably like three or four years. Out of the garage. So this is a dumbass question, but what what is anthropology? I've always just pretended to know what it meant. Anthropology is like the umbrella term for sociology, archaeology, anthropology. It's pretty much like the study of human culture, okay. And history, okay, the different history aspects of human civilization. Pretty much. Anything Did you always wanted to be like an archaeologist growing up? Not really. Just seemed like an interesting career path, and tested it out for a few years out there in Spain. I thought you were cooking. Oh, bro, what the fuck? You never cooked? <laughs> you never did food at all, ever? <laughs> bro, I thought you worked at Chili's. Man, let me I tell you. I worked at Outback like, right out of high school as a food <laughs> for a few months. Oh, maybe that's what it was. But let me tell you something. <laughs> My, I I got, I got, built a whole career out of food and like out of and food I love and beverage. Cooking. And I used to, at his house, we used to make these sandwiches with Miracle Whip on these like, oh, on, like hot dog buns. Did Yo, you just say with like, with, with, <laughs> yeah. yeah, with French cornichons on it. <laughs> Yo, that's my fucking sleeper agent activation. <laughs> one. Like Black Forest <laughs> hand cornichons. Yeah, and uh, you know, like it was like my first fun culinary experience aside from eating the what we always ate with our grandma always cooking for us. You know what I mean? Yeah, the same shit. It's fucking. And then my house it was like a fried chicken and macaroni and cheese with ketchup, which was off the chain. By the way, <laughs> who the fuck was cooking that at your house? Gina, that's what Gina cooked. But you can't do this to me. Well, she did like other stuff too, but. All right, so yeah, keep going. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to no, no, segue out of that. Uh, so what were you saying? So yeah, so it, uh, brewing out of the brewing out of yeah, the, we brewed out of the pretty much out of a, a buddy of ours' house, his garage and backyard for years, trying to figure out if we could actually turn into a viable business. Was that in Kariba Lakes? That wasn't Kariba Lakes. Man, I had a lot of memories in Kariba Lakes. Yeah, Kariba. Was, Yo, what uh to to go back. One second. What what region of Spain were you? Uh, I was in a a little town b- south of uh, t- the old capital, Valladolid. So it's about an hour and a half north of Madrid, in the middle of uh, Rio de Duero, that region of uh, wine country. Pretty much, we were just uh, excavating a bunch of Celts that got Romanized and. Yo, I, I I was just I was just go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was just learning about that. I got, I didn't know that there was uh <laughs> that there was a, a Celtic influx into parts of Spain. Like I, I just oh, that's re- wild. I just recently learned about that. Celts are everywhere. They weren't they didn't get to Ireland until after they were in the rest of Western oh, Europe. Wild. Oh wait. That was like later. I also heard that there was like a uh <clears throat> a group that they found before the Celts, like when they did the I don't know. Some sums up his study. You heard study, that on like Twitter? A, I don't. No, like it was the, on YouTube. The Basque language. They don't. They don't have a connection to <laughs> it, even through any of the European <laughs> languages. That's an even more reliable. No, source. but it was like it was like I don't know by NPR or some shit where they found oh, that's good. something that's good. older than the Celts in Ireland. There, there probably was something there. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I get my news from TikTok. <laughs> it's not even a joke. It's not even a bit. But these guys are just Celts. Eventually, the Romans showed up and like, hey fight us or die and then they just kind of so what's the vibe what's the vibe you know as far as the brewing style and the kind of product you're gonna get out of this a lost delicious. city yeah it's really good and i you know it's like a fucking there's such a spectrum such a broad spectrum we, of experiences and flavors and you know like mouthfeels and uh, aromas and mouthfeel. this holy scribe is very <laughs> this like <laughs> fuck you the holy scribe is a uh, super light Thank you, sweet, yeah. I like it. I mean, it'll, I like sweet, but it'll, it'll, it'll catch up on you. It is eight percent. Doesn't taste. Oh, like this it. shit's eight percent. That shit's eight <laughs> percent. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta play music after this. That's a. I'll have to. All it's a, all one type of malt. That's all Pilsen malt from so, uh, from Canada and a little bit of Belgian candy sugar to bump up the alcohol percentage. The sugar with these yeah. creates more. We alcohol. brew a little bit of everything. We try to keep things kind of traditional. 
Right now, there's 15 different beers on tap. Nice. You're looking at the only person in the brewery that actually makes beer. Mm. No, one one no, no one man show. No man. It's a one man show. So, so what happened with your buddies? They run the bar and do sales and marketing. So how's I, that going? Who's the most effective person there? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. What's your sales numbers on Friday night? <laughs> no, no, no. Who's the no fucking comment. weakest link? Hey, hey, uh, let me tell you something. I love your regulars. And Put I, out your torch. I, I You're love, leaving the island. You, oh, wait. Uh, hey, wait. Did I just go out? I just went out. No, that's your headphones. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so, uh, I'm today. still here. All right, so what I was saying is, I love the culture that you're building there. This like sub lost city culture. Because every time I did go there, and I haven't been there in a while, and he called that out. Um, every time I do go there, there's regulars there that look puzzled when I'm there. I'm like, this is my cousin's place. I could be here. I could do whatever I want. You're a fucking madman. You just pop into room. You're like, yeah, yeah. Cause chaos and walk right back out. Yeah. Yo, but the food situation over there is banging too. Yeah, we partnered up with a newer truck recently. We got like an Argentinian truck out back. Wasala? Or are they no, doing no, like. It's like empanas, you know, oh, Argentinian dope. style pizza. Choripan and shit? Choripan. Choripan. They do lomito? They do lomito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, a Kool Aid food. Yeah, well, bro, <laughs> lomito with fried eggs? <laughs> I'm fuck it. And a nice fucking brew from Lost City. So yeah, they do dude. Lomito sandwiches. Chori Pongs, Milanesas. Dude, Matt, sandwich. do you know about that Chori Pong dog? He knows about the Chori. I don't know if he's ever heard of Pong. The only food item that has resonated with me this whole time is Miracle Whip. I don't know, any, <laughs> I don't know anything else that you're talking about. Uh, fucking Chori Pong, bro. <laughs> uh, you push Miracle Whips? <laughs> Mayonnaise <laughs> Color Bins. I push... Hey, so I was I was at Lost City for Carlos's birthday last year. Great, mm-hmm. great time. And the whole facility, the the vibe, the food, the ambiance, the motherfucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, acoustics, like like that's like through and through. Like it's a really solid venue. I like, appreciate not it. Even, not even being biased here. And I I remember what I was drinking. From the tap, but that shit was fucking smooth. It wasn't like it wasn't even like I was drinking beer. It was like I was sipping on wine. It was so motherfucking smooth. He's probably having Audrey. Yeah, that was very wine like. But yeah, no, appreciate it. No, that's what we're trying to build out there because there's there's literally nothing between Windwood and Fort Lauderdale. The whole area is kind of like dead, like nightlife. There's wise. like mm. certain things, but they're like bars that have been around for a really long time, and they're really sketchy. And they're yeah, only like Billy's Pub too. You get stabbed and. Well, you get a good price drink while you're getting stabbed, you know? <laughs> you're like, wow, only six bucks, and you're, like, bleeding you out. It's you're literally happy me. hour from 5 to midnight every day. Yeah, they're like, just come in. We'll probably <laughs> 5 to midnight <laughs> every day. We open at 5.30. <laughs> oh, man, this is going well. Hopefully we can keep it up. <laughs> Hopefully we can keep it up, guys. Oh, wait. Whoops. <laughs> That's what wrong. Over there, wrong episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, yeah. So I think that's really cool, and like I like how um you're getting a local spot vibe now, and like you're starting. You have regulars, right? You have people you see all the time. And Damn, you literally you have one guy named Paul. <laughs> you only have one? No, no. There's one guy that literally oh. shows up there every day. Every day we call him the governor. The guy's like 75 years old. He's probably gonna die at the bar one day. What does he get? What does he drink? What What you guys are having? That holy scribe. He just drinks like six or seven of those back Damn. to back. And do you hook him up? No, bro. Fucking full price. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we do love him, though. We love the support. We love him. Hey, what he gets the happy hour. He's he's the, a loyalty. The man. governor. Hey, we love you, governor. <laughs> uh, what's his name? <laughs> On the next episode, our guest, <laughs> what's the governor, pa- Paul, Paul Bart. <laughs> hey, we love you, Paul, and that's super awesome. And thank you for supporting my my cousins, uh, my cousins Barry more than I do, bro. That guy's fucking amazing. Was born bro. and raised in North Miami, he's gonna die in North Miami. Whatever, <laughs> whatever makes him happy, bro. We love you, Paul. Hey, hey guys, gonna die a painful death that's by my <laughs> hand. That's a ooh for Paul. <laughs> that guy has no shame. I've seen that guy so drunk that he's literally pissed himself, and is hitting on a group of lesbians. Oh God, yeah, that's, that's a good group to hit on. That's a yeah. Wednesday for me, especially when you just piss yourself. Yeah, you're covered okay, in pheromones. He doesn't care. He can mm. barely feel his legs. He's supposed to use a walker. He doesn't. 
That's the Holy Scribe, bro. It's that giving him powers. Scribe. Giving him powers. Well, I hope we he got does a big group of. I hope he doesn't subscribe to. Let's keep shitting on a governor real quick. No, the oh, governor's man. amazing. I'm kidding. That every time man. he comes in, he's like, that guy's like falling apart. I love the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. every time there's like somebody young, I'm be it's like, the look, American dream. Paul's only 35. Make sure you put on your sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> what is the SPF I should get on? Him? I use sunscreen every single day. Yeah, you're always very shiny every time I see I you. I put sunscreen to go out at nighttime sometimes. Every time you we look smooth, bro. You look <laughs> too smooth. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm like sitting next to you, you, you look like a wax, like a wax. What is it called? A wax. <laughs> like even uh, where there's hair, wax, what you is look that? smooth. A wax statue. Yeah, yeah a wax statue. Wax doll. <laughs> no, but like what, you don't look the like the wax museum, pores. like the wax <laughs> museum <laughs> figures. Yeah, the mannequin. Yeah, like a, yeah, dude. He's so shiny when I walk in. I'm like, was he just jerking <laughs> it before I got here? Like, <laughs> bro, buddy like, could be. <laughs> he's so red and the shiny. more shiny is the more adorable. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then he like, and then he's he glistening. just he just put on like chapstick or something, so his lips are also really shiny. So his his and he's and we're you know we're bald, so you know it's like we're a all lot bald. of a lot of shine going on. I'm a god. The golden yeah. god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bald. Illuminator room. Fuck. <laughs> Just shine the light off it's of Matthew. State of mind. Um, Yo, it's funny. All y'all wearing hats, but me. Because <laughs> you're all hiding the shame. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, yeah, I know, right? Yo, I love it. Someone love get it. this guy a hat. I love it. No. It's fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut this guy's hair while he's sleeping. <laughs> Blame our grandmother's what? father. For hey, that. you cook. Yeah, he be well. sleeping at work a lot. Yeah. My, my boss was like, my boss today during lunch was like, oh, it looks like the pillow's still on his face, like the marking. <laughs> <laughs> when he was, when he, was sleep, he was sleeping during his lunch break. Yeah. He's like, Mira lo, tiene la you don't fuck on one of my lunch break. Yeah, he, uh, he's from Chile. <laughs> you know, he got that accent down. Yeah, yeah. Mira, mira lo. <laughs> did, did that sound Chilean? It did. Damn, I don't even know what that sounds like. I just know what he sounds like. It's yeah. just generic South American. Mida, mida, nope. look, mida. Por eso te digo. <laughs> <laughs> Ye- uh, oh yeah, but delicious beer. So yeah, man, thanks for coming on. It's fucking, nah, thank you for having me. It's fucking sick. Thanks for for uh, Joey Tracks for being the one to set it up. Yeah, and not Carlos. Are you watching uh, X Men ninety seven? Of course. How are you feeling? It's pretty good. I'm surprised that it's as adult as it is being on Disney Plus. I think it's a well. I think, I, it, I think Disney Plus already made that distinction where they have adult content on there. Yeah, they have, have like that weed sure show to opt into it. Yeah, they have that weed show that Jimmy Kimmel's. But like, if you're not on that opt in, does X Men '97 even show up? Probably not. I mean, but that's for like the, the little kids. I mean, they got the Deadpool movies on there, for example. Yeah, they got all the Hulu content. They, they, got, sure the, they got the Daredevil that. and Punisher and Defender series all on there. That's true. I got a little, I get a little lost in the Shi'ar Empire and fucking. Uh, <laughs> well, like, well, like I the, got a little lost, dude. I know I have to rewatch that last episode, well, like or Shi- I have to rewatch everything. The Shi'ar Empire. That's, it's and it's the, hard to get and through that original with cartoon. The McCran Crystal and Gladiator. Is uh is is probably more like a bit of a, a deep cut comic, even though it's central to the X Men. It's more of a is very comic, but it's more isn't it closer orientated. to the Celestials? Like no, no, no it's really. just it's just like the you know the X Men going a bunch of space faring adventures. But like so, more, it, it all starts at the Dark Phoenix, the Phoenix Saga. Yeah, yeah, that's when they pop out. Or they yeah with the Encron the crystal. Yeah. And then uh and then, <laughs> and then Charles Xavier got a you know, he got a thing going on. But that boy played for real with the with the Empress and whatnot. No, but then he told her, Fuck you, bitch, I gotta get back to my fucking bro, I don't give a fuck. My people need me. That's crazy. He could do all that shit with his mind, but he still can't walk. <laughs> oh, but how is he walking? <laughs> He's got a suit on. Oh yeah. Well, you leave the suit on. Hey, That's what I'm saying. It's like why does this guy do not do that? Term. And he must be rocking her world. He can't just like, but how do you, you know? He's like, oh, it makes your dick work too. It's because Taryn dick. Taryn dick? Yeah. Oh, Earth dick. Yeah. <laughs> Taryn is Earth, yeah. <laughs> you know, you never had Taryn before they eat you up. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you're invalid, you still got fire yeah. dick. <laughs> you're lucky I saved you. You know, they would love to eat, taste them some of that Taryn, boy. <laughs> I was just watching that movie <laughs> yesterday, dead ass. Yeah, that's a good. It's really good, man. Guardians of the Galaxy Two was the first movie I ever saw in Shrooms. God damn, 
That was like last year. And uh, mine was the tuxedo. Yeah, for real? A <laughs> uh, shrooms? Yeah. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Chan is so fucking cringe sometimes, bro. That guy kind of disappeared. Yeah, where'd he go? No, he did the new Karate Kid with Jaden Smith. That was fucking 20 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> it's like the tower just fell, bro. I was a child. Oh, he hurt his hand. He's still doing this. Oh, oh. He's still shaking off. Oh, oh. I'm surprised they haven't brought out uh, a new uh, rush hour. Bro, for real. <clears throat> that should have been. Yeah. Sure you, saw the new, money. you saw the new blade that's coming out? It's that dude from True Detectives. That's if it ever comes out. I don't know if that. Yeah, that that's been going through so many it looks changes. Like it looks like it coming. Kind of ended up being like a flash with the amount of changes. You didn't like oh, Flash? Fuck that movie. Other than you got to see Michael Keaton for <laughs> yeah reprise. Other than that, that thing was yo the I, it was pretty bad. See, yeah, something you. people don't talk about enough is the Flash movie is one of the best Batman movies. There is. It is. Other than him fighting in daylight, it's like what the fuck is this guy doing? In yeah, that, in the that, that, of a that was fighting. A, <laughs> but like the scene where they're infiltrating the 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 Soviet yo, base what kind of shit. shit is that? Oh, it's day, so I could just kill somebody and Batman can't come out. Oh, well, you I mean, talking about Blade? No, I'm talking about fucking Blade is a daywalker anyway. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're right. You're right. You're right. Batman you're right. fights in the I'm shadows. I'm just trying to make bro. sense. Of, uh, yeah, yeah, but maybe the when like do you ever see him fight in daylight? Ever? Well, the sand dune can make a shadow or something. It just looks ridiculous. <laughs> like, look at the guy my finger on the. I'm okay, gonna yeah. fight like, underneath this table. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I could wear a different suit. Hey, uh, you guys seen the the de- the Deadpool? I'm blind. Trailer? I haven't seen anything. <laughs> dang. <laughs> yeah, I did watch it. I watched the official trailer today, and I'm really quite a chunk of it. Uh, yeah, you, you saw they bring up the multiverse and stuff. Like this Wolverine failed everyone, and he's like using it against him. To, like, I want to know what they paid him to come back after Logan, because like that guy had a perfect out. Yeah, that must have been a fat bag. Yeah, I but don't, I don't to work that. with Ryan Reynolds. <clears throat> I mean, I just hope it's fun. I, I would do. I don't yeah. give a fuck. I just want it to be like what, fun. Hey, hey, so, so Danny, you saw the trailer. I saw piece. Yeah, I saw most of it earlier. All right, let's uh, let's let's, 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 watch, let's watch the trailer. Can you pull it up here? Oh shit! Uh, I don't hear it. You're not welcome anywhere. You're the best. Now get the welcome. fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm sort of on the tick tick. So upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh. Whiskey dick of the claws. <laughs> it's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. That's it, a good is line. he traveling with Cable? No. I don't get it. I don't think you can afford him. This movie. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Nah, is that what you it. said when your world went to shit? You haven't watched Loki? Yeah. Kill me again. This TVA Wolverine is let down as entire Oh, world. so they involve the TVA, okay. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. Yo, we gotta watch this on Trumps. I don't know anything about saving worlds. Wow, he, he's in great shape, do. dude. I mean, yeah, I watched there. this trailer and no then went to the gym up. immediately after. Yeah, I'm gonna get a good, <laughs> gonna get a good session tonight, boy. You were the X Man. Yeah, anytime he does one of these scenes, so he's gonna fast right for two, two days. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's like everything you want to see. Cancer is cancer. Boys are so silly. This is what I'm talking about. Like Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Ah! Oh my god, so exciting, dude. That looks fun. Some cocaine. Hey. 
is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powers? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. <laughs> Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupter? Even Forrest Bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! <laughs> Let's fucking go, Let's dude. fucking go. <laughs> wow. And then you know what, bro? I'm so excited for all this oh. surprises, bro. There's going to be so many cool little fucking Easter That's going to be really fun to watch, like, in the theater. Oh, my God. Is Brad Pitt going to make another appearance? <laughs> all right, so I got... <laughs> Did he really sick? have to? I feel like they could have just, like, taken a shot of him. Like No, but that was, that was more like a like a one-off thing yeah, for yeah. Deadpool, too. But I, I, I got a couple things. So, like, most of the Easter eggs I've already been pointed out. So you did you guys see the the head of uh, Ant Man and his yeah. giant man form? Yeah. So I, everyone is uh, so that's and so you see uh what's her name Cassandra Kane or whatever who's a Charles Xavier. Her name was Cassandra uh, twin sister. Okay. Who uh you guys <laughs> so essentially uh that's Charles Xavier's twin that he telepathically sensed her evilness in the womb. And killed her. <laughs> the fuck? And <laughs> she ended up as a surviving as a mass of cells in the sewer. What the fuck? And yeah, it's like a whole thing. So that that's her. That's who the, the ball is. I can't is. see anything. What do you mean you can't see anything? We're not looking at anything. Yeah, we're just talking, bro. Fucking oh, I sick. thought you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> It's like this guy just went blind. Oh uh, my! <laughs> just, what if he actually went blind? No, my eyes are Yo, closed. He said my he eyes. Was no, I was. My the eyes were. Cl- <laughs> the prophecy has come my true. My eyes were closed, and I forgot that but I had to open this them. To me. It's the rapture, fellows. <laughs> that edge went too far. Yeah, I've been edging too much. That's what happens when you edge. You got to take the edge <laughs> you off. You just go blind. <laughs> you just go blind. Symptoms of edging: temporary <laughs> blindness. <laughs> <laughs> Seizures. Yo, you heard there was a little bit of panic in his voice. He's like, guys, I can't see anything. What are you talking about? I can't see anything. Wait, you guys could see this? So I don't know if you caught that shot, but she was wa- the his helmet popped open and she was walking out of the skull of Ant Man yeah. in his giganticized form. I'm guessing that's so, Pim, so, not so that's I don't know if you remember, guys remember the the old man Logan mm-hmm. run. So there was there was an area in that in that town I called Pim Falls, where uh, <sighs> his, his, his 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 yeah and his body was like they had like a town inside of his body. His corpse. That's wild. Uh, obviously, there's the stuff uh, you see. So it's still the same Logan universe, but like an alternate version of that universe. So like supposedly like like the rumor mill is like there's a the the premise of like the Secret Wars film coming up is like a every universe has like a central hero character then like the universe's survival is dependent on that character and this Wolverine failed his specific universe and whatnot and uh, presumably this ties into Doctor the Doctor Strange situation with the incursions happening and uh, you know uh, different universes colliding. And whatnot, you saw the the magic portal at the op- at the end. Wolverine and uh, Deadpool are jumping through it. Obviously, the the TVA plays a heavy factor. There's a big shakeup with that at the end of a uh, season two of Loki. And they're saying the X Men '97 looks like it's a uh, connecting into it somehow. So it's a lot of. I really like that they're fixing everything. No, I disagree. Really? I feel like they're trying to figure out the uh, like the Miss Marvel what, situation. What, what phase are we in right now? Five. Four? Five? Well, the, the thing that's upsetting me is everyone's saying, oh, uh, this is going to do better than the Marvel's, the woke films that Marvel's been making. And so that I say, everyone that has, that's coming with that kind of opinion is just a fucking a fair weather fan. All right? Like, I enjoy the Marvel movies, but they've been and losing like, me lately. I got a pee beep. And like this whole thing with with, with calling everything uh, woke right out the gate is a uh, is is getting uh, ridiculous. Yo, God, thank God that guy left, dude. Yeah, fuck. I can't stand <laughs> him <laughs> and his shit. I don't think it's the woke stuff. I think it's just kept getting hit over the head. I love f- comic book movies, but it's been just so much of it, and it's, some of it's so like, you know, we made a next man movie. See, for, for me, I still have it. 
it's not even it's it's not even enough. I I, I did, like this is shit that I live for. Like Deadpool, Wolverine coming up. Like I prepared my whole life for this. I've yeah. seen every single Marvel movie at least five times. So, sometimes you want to meet your heroes, bro. I'm a, the biggest Ghostbusters <laughs> fan, and I still haven't seen the new movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I heard uh, the trailer looked cool, but I heard bad things about that movie. It's like sometimes you don't meet your heroes. Yeah, man. Living those past memories. Man, I, you know, I was, you know, I, you know I, Danny created this, like, fucking past for me that, like, he created this foundation of, like, soul and stuff. Like, certain, like, like any comedy that's, like, Second City, and it's, like, or if it's any, you know, if it's any comedy, you know, from, like, the SNL era, like, the Bill Murray era and shit like that, any kind of comedy out of that, Danny put me onto that. Uh, if it was, like, anything remotely connected to like the blues or like the like because of blues brothers and shit like that this guy was super into all that music so we're you know i you're a rich girl also you like the, i remember it don't, it don't matter, matter anyway <laughs> i remember like you no one's listening to that on your own man's money but he you loved that on your, your own man's, man's money it's a rich girl and it's gone too far and it don't, don't matter, don't matter anyway, anyway. Yeah. You can rely on I your remember, own man's money. I remember, I remember like Napster sorry, coming you, out. You, you can't just start that it and not finish yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm or, sorry, you can't. You're a rich girl. But like, uh, you know, I really appreciate that. And then my first musical, like my dad was a musician, but the when it, I really started, like got an opportunity to play music because there's, you know, like ever since we moved from from Chicago to Miami, it was with Danny, you know. So like, I, I it was all around the family. Everybody played an instrument. No, but you were playing with uh, your band, the Daybreakers. Yeah, but that's because no, not Daybreaker. It was, yeah, uh, it was called BHP. Buster Hyman and the Penetrators. Yeah, that was the name of the band. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Like it's kind of like in, BHP in, uh, in Zootopia when uh when uh they they're like yo you're gonna start a howl because the one wolf howls and everybody got a howl. So I'm still on my thing. Wow. He's still going on Rich Girl. Rich <laughs> 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 Girl. And it's going oh, to God. Uh, but everybody but, played music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, but it was like so particular. It's like such a niche. You know, it was like it was such a niche. And uh, but we also were listening to like Primus too. Dylan was into Primus, so yeah. we were, we jammed to Primus. Mikey was into anything that was like California ska punk or whatever. So yeah, Sublime was like you know I Sublime is still for me is like top ten. Well, Sublime, it was top five, top stupid. Ten sometimes, yeah, yeah, slightly stupid and Pepper and like you were too young to remember. But in Chicago, like the house that you were when your dad and your mom had. They had a garage out back. Your dad converted it pretty much into a practice space and studio. Yeah, I remember. It was massive. He had a band called fucking Praxis. Like a little jit. Yeah. Fucking sick. He had a B3. He had a B3 with a He hammer. had an RV in the parking lot that reeked of weed. I just didn't know what that smelled like back then. Yeah. I was like, oh, what the fuck is the smell? Yeah. It's like orange cleaner and weed. I guess it was meant to be because <laughs> now I'm back into that, you know? Yeah, so like now that's what I do. I want to hear from Danny's perspective. What was like a uh, growing up with this guy Carlos around? First well, of all, <laughs> not, nobody Carlos. calls him Carlos. <laughs> yeah, they call him Gabby. Gabby. It's Gabby because he's Carlos the third. <laughs> His dad's Carlos. My grandfather was Carlos. Everybody just called him Gabby. We have to start calling you C three. C three. DP. Well, it's like always Gabi. DP. There's even a song. It's like Gabi, Gabeta, Chupa Chupa. la Teta. Yeah, no, Chupa de la Teta. <laughs> Unless you have a Teta. I mean, suck on a tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gabi, Gabeta, Chupa de la Teta. Your dad came up with that. Nah, Morris, Morris. Was it Morris? No, not Morris. D. It was D. Fucking Alex. Was- All right, so who's D? Tell us about D. I don't know. I'm sure I've told, told D you. D is that. an older cousin of ours. That motherfucker. He made it here windsurfing from Cuba, and he, it was in the papers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. He got, it's in the Miami Herald from 92 or 93. Wait, but seriously? Seriously. He was in the Olympic team in Cuba back in the late 80s. Oh, so, but it wasn't like something where he was fleeing, or was it like... No, no, he flees. <laughs> on, on yeah. a, Wait, there was a fucking accident? <laughs> yeah. No, I thought... <laughs> I thought like, oh, sorry, the, the current took me. I thought <laughs> it was on some, like, Olympic shit, Red Bull type, <laughs> oh, Red Bull event. No, God. he literally, him and his buddy... What was his name? I don't know. What was his friend's name? Uh, it wasn't no. Red Bull, it was the uh, Red Party. <laughs> bro, this guy went to Roberto. 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 He yeah, to they t- both got their, their windsurfs, <laughs> and literally launched out of Havana... And three days later, they're outside of Miami. They got picked up by the Coast Guard. This is before Wetfoot, Dryfoot. So he was able to stay as a asylum. 
Yeah. And two years later, you got to pinch for weed and spend seven years in jail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and now, and now he makes. He makes it windsurf. He makes wind, he makes windsurfing boards from scratch. The guy is like fiberglass yeah. wizard. That guy lived in the ocean so much that like his hair was bleach blonde from. Is the it sun. Alex yeah. Morales? Yeah. yeah, Alexander Morales. Alex Morales. Yeah, that's D. I love D. We're very proud of him. He's, one, he's from one Cuba. Of the- on- Wow, that's so fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah, but that's a Morales. You know, the, that's a Morales. That like the thing with the Morales is, is on this side of the family, it's like if you make it to 35 and you're not nuts, you're probably going to go nuts in 10 years. <laughs> Everybody's just fucking nuts. Yeah, I'm getting crazier, but I'm really leaning into it now. <laughs> now, he's been crazy since he's a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning into it now. Now I'm just like, you know what? I don't feel guilty anymore. He's just always chaotic. Yeah. You know, Gary's never, always been chaotic. Yeah, I don't have that perspective, dude. I can't even like. I feel like his disposition is chaotic. Good. Yeah. No, he's always been a good kid. He's just chaotic. He's always just like ah, a lo logo. Carlos, we're gonna have your entire family on this podcast. Yeah. But this is really just an intervention of pieces. <laughs> your craziness. <laughs> You're just really crazy. Can you stop being so crazy? We're concerned with your craziness. <laughs> we'll big bang, bring back our dead grandma. <laughs> yeah, ay, tita. Nachita. Yeah. Yeah, we just lost her. R.I.P. Nachita. R.I.P. She, that, that, but for what, bro? You're 90-something. What else do you want? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give it a rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it was it's life. There's nothing unique time. about that. That's right. It's yeah. about time. There's nothing unique about that shit. It's just the hour at which it happens. Yeah. You know, it was really sad. It would have made it better if she was loaded, but it was just she was just sad. So it was just sadness, mm. you know? It would have been like, oh, she died, but here's some money. But no, nah, we didn't get any of that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually accumulated debt from my grandmother's death, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. yeah, because... How'd they it, hook you? You know, what happened was, <laughs> what happened was, is your mom started a credit card under my name to pay off something for Tita. So, oh, uh, you're, you're fucking going to be good. What's wrong with you? It's getting personal over here. Yeah. Hey, can oh. I hit that bit? Nah. What's happening? Oh, it's the memes of oh, the week. I give you a meme of the week. Watch me tweak, and I like to fucking it's watch a verse walk with this meme, week. and I. Gonna fucking do you on the fucking street It's like you coming down from Miami Beach And I'm I'm the leech. I let you teach And then I let you preach The fucking mission Listen, you know what it's like When the body kissing I'm chillin', 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 chillin' Memes of the week Memes of the week Memes of the week Damn, your name's not even on the podcast I think yeah, I and Hiram's not even on the podcast <laughs> Dude, anymore. I, I hate Hiram so much. I was gonna, I Sean, I was gonna be, I was gonna take jabs at Sean today, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to hate two people. I just only want to hate Hiram. No, the, their names are there. It's in white, so you, it's underneath. You can't see it. Does it make you feel better? <laughs> From Look, shrooms I, to they, Skyrim. They, then you specifically wait, 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 picked wait, 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 one wait, wait, wait. between Sean. Carlos. God, that gets me hard. All right, <laughs> so hard. I have who, band, who is I, it? I have band practice. <laughs> well, you're edging anyway. So. Yeah. Good. Fuck. All right. I'm loaded. Shoot right those now, ropes. Bro. I'm loaded. I gotta shoot ropes. Yeah. Actually, I actually have an ingrown bro, hair. My balls so haven't been this it. heavy in so long. <laughs> oh no! How, your, your logo. What's that say? Your logo was sure look good s- here. How'd that get there? What did it say? Oh boy, your logo <laughs> would sure look good here sponsoring the segment. Uh, what, would, what do you think the spot would be like? Oh, Lost City Brewing Company. Get your local great awesome. What, what are your buy ins? We'll talk off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Putting me on blast. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you want to start us off, Danny? Olive oil and gourmet jelly beans for dinner again? Because I don't. What? Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, the Morales can't read. This, <laughs> we're all a little dyslexic. The we're, all, we're sex lexic. Yeah. I like how he said. I like how he said. What the fuck? At reading, <laughs> he was like, "What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> how do you do this?" 
Oliver and gourmet jelly beans for dinner again because I buy all my groceries at TJ Maxx. <laughs> nice. Eh? I thought you were an anthropologist. <laughs> hey, bro. That's why I dropped out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Matt. It's been like 12 years. Matt? Tried to impress a vegan girl by not washing my dick for three years until little mushrooms grew down there. I had the intention of serving them to her as a meal, but I developed a telepathic hive mind parasitic relationship with the shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of smegma. Yeah. <laughs> smegma. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens, dude? Oh, what? When what you develop a hive mind parasitic relationship oh, with the shit. shrooms on your dick? That just showed up on a TikTok really thing. I just like, like the intention of serving them to her as a meal. <laughs> is that is that her They're smegic mushrooms. Oh god, smegic <laughs> mushrooms. Carlos, Sean, <laughs> 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 bitches got on a crop top, no bra, and nipple piercings. Then ask if they could say hi to your parents. Just go to my room, <laughs> whore. <laughs> uh, so bad. Dude. That's so good. That's so good. The only prank that would get me back. Is if you pooped and didn't wipe and sent me a pic of your booty. <laughs> oh, no. I shouldn't have told you. Now you know how to prank me. Please, please, don't prank me back. I must remain the king. I want to see the poop. Danny? Hold on. I'm going to do a read through. Before Oh, uh, good thing you're dead because this one's a. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Fixing typos in your text is for cowards. I'll mention someone. What are you doing, Junior? <laughs> <laughs> and that's them to figure out what I just said. Time shit. <sighs> How would you explain Bitcoin in 30 seconds to your girlfriend? Imagine if keeping your car idling 24-7 produced soft Sudokus you could trade for heroin. <laughs> is, is that accurate, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, because it's on the dark web. I got it. New movie idea. Small town farm uh, boy uh, goes uh, to the uh, big, big city, city and falls in love with a hotshot lawyer woman who convinces him to move into the city and start hating Christmas. <laughs> Something original. <laughs> Flip the script. Anti Hallmark movie. Just a reminder that most of HP Lovecraft's Lovecraft stories are set in a near Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Therefore, you should be giving all of the characters Boston Bostonian accents. accents. Oh my! Uh, 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 oh God! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, it's an Eldridge. <laughs> How a form behind the stars. Never, <laughs> never go full retard. Yeah, it's like he went full. Oh Matt my Damon. god, it's Eldridge. <laughs> Hara from never from Boy in the stars. So ne you, never go full Matt Damon. <laughs> so, you, so you can do a Chilean, but not a. Oh my but god, not a, no, it's an Eldridge. Farah from the behind the stars. <laughs> <laughs> is that weird? Do I say that? It's fucking oh my god! Super smooth. <laughs> it's an elder from the Bay End. From the Bay End, the stars, yeah, the stars, stars. stars. <laughs> I'm not good at anything. Masturbation is a form of witchcraft. Okay, call me the Gizzard of Oz. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> the Edge Lord. <laughs> I think these. I'm really enjoying these memes. I'm gonna be real with you. I do not understand ice dispensers in hotels. <laughs> I have never needed ice in a hotel. Why is it so important for there to be ice in a hotel? Why are ice dispensers mentioned in the hotel reviews? What are people doing with ice in a hotel? Am I losing my mind? I feel like I've always used ice in hotels. Yeah. <laughs> it's because there's no refrigerator. Do you not use ice in hotels? I've never used ice in a hotel in my life. Why? It's there. Use it. Then you're not <laughs> exactly bro. Waste the bag. <laughs> They give you the fucking trash can with the the that's like an extra trash can, right? For it, or am I just using? Well, if you don't have a a, if you don't have a fridge, you chill the stuff in the little bucket. Yeah. It's, for me, it's just for alcohol. You got to keep that fucking rosé on ice. Yeah. Well, he drinks uh, Steel Reserve. <laughs> yeah. You can buy that with Monopoly money. <laughs> <laughs> We were doinked <laughs> in the Kurger Bing wait, parking lot. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you guys should get the guitar out for this. Let's fucking do it justice. It's too much to coordinate. We were I doinked can't. in the Kurger no, Bing parking I, I, lot. I could do it. Can you sing it? Really? I could do it. I could do it. Here, pass me the guitar. I could do like a... 
A little chord progression. We were doing in the Burger King parking lot. <laughs> I said that. I, <laughs> we were doing in the Burger King parking lot. <laughs> I gotta do it again. <laughs> we were doing in the Burger King parking lot. I said that I had the shit. You said you did too. We blessed it out of our ass just like an astronaut <laughs> flying through space. Pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo. Pickles and onions. Taylor queefed. By an hour, Walmart. Thanks for the assistance. Thanks. An appropriation appears in your <laughs> an apparition appears in your room alongside a more successful looking doppelganger of yourself. Apparition. And this is what you would be, doppelganger. Oh my god, spare me these twisted visions, Spectre. I've learned my lesson. Both vanish. You. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> did I act it out? That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did the thing. This is his fucked up memes it that he thinks are going to land really well. It feels really close to home. Yeah, where's Niplo, dog? Yeah, I need more uh, Niplo don't, memes. Don't worry, I got some. <laughs> he, he saves it to the end, though. Yes, Yo, Nick. it's called edging, dude. <laughs> it's called edging. <laughs> you of all people, you of all people should understand the concept of edging. Not with memes, bro. I go full on <laughs> busting with memes. Oh, dude, just keep busting. <laughs> Wait. I'm busting on a good I'm meme just kidding. Edge. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. You don't want to get diddled by the diddler. All right, me as ahead. a knight. Uh, me. <laughs> squire. <laughs> young squire. D- wait. Squire. Young squire. Do you have time? Do you have the time? <laughs> so by the judge of the sun, it is 3 p.m. Wrong, squire. It is. Shutting visor. Night time. <sighs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Yes. Raggy, these Red Bulls ain't shit. The only monster we encounter <laughs> is the greed of man. <laughs> wow, Scoob. Like, what an astute observation, man. <laughs> hey, he, 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 ha. Who, Watching Shogun with subtitles. Watching shoved, watching Shogun with subtitles off, so I can feel like s- just as much of an outsider as the white guy. He is learning Japanese, Japanese. He is learning Japanese <laughs> way faster than me. <laughs> Japanese <laughs> people echo. He learning Japanese. <laughs> He's yeah. learning Japanese way faster than me. Yo, uh, you've been watching Shogun. That's just good. <laughs> would, you, would you, uh, what? What? <laughs> That's just good. He takes you, tug it to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the series finale is today. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. I I got lost by like the sixth episode. I I, I, I think it's it. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck yeah, man. That's yes. that's literally the my sleep paralysis. Chani <laughs> <laughs> DeVito. Whores. Chani DeVito, bro. Uh. <laughs> just stare at this for a while. Yeah, yeah. I really just bask that. in his glow. Just live with it. Yeah, I could imagine. I just came in blasting. Are you searching for memes right now? <laughs> it's, like, it's like fuck it. You think? It, um, uh, what? Uh, what if computers were beautiful? Toasters. <laughs> but are you supposed to read oh. the bottom first? Yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. First. I'm an idiot. <laughs> fuck me. I'm what if idiot. computers were beautiful? What if toasters could feel the entire range of complex human emotion? What if Roombas could smoke cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> the bread bowl was such an ingenious invention. <laughs> like, hey, fatty, you can eat the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you guys saw that. I'm the piece. I'm a piece of shit. Post on Instagram, right? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Y'all better be using that audio for all you whatever you feel guilty about doing, all right? I love you guys. Like and subscribe. Don't On a subscribe. date at a fancy restaurant, oh God, no getting cap. our meals, which have a bit of corn in them, leaning over and smirking in my inimitable devil-may-care <laughs> fashion, saying, 
I suppose that will be making a rare appearance in our stool later, my dear. You're fucking weird. <laughs> with I beans. suppose that Indubitably. we'll be making a rare appearance <laughs> in our stool later, my dear. Sorry. <clears throat> Damn, the Yakuza. Finally, a job I'm qualified <laughs> for. Job alert. The Yakuza are looking for new gang members. Please apply if... You're a chill person with no drama who is in, who is cool to have a beer with. Your musical influence includes Deftones, Tool, early Nine Inch Nails, etc. And you are down to do crimes in Japan. Yeah. What's up with his nipples, though? Dude? Hi. Looks like a face. The rising sun. Body looks like a face. The rising suns. I've been told that as a white man, can't go Latina mode. I've been told that I, as a white man, damn, bro, they're rubbing off on you. Yeah. yeah. But Matthew <laughs> can't. say yeah. As you, go, <laughs> as you, Matthew can't go into Ebonics mode. I, but I can't go Latino mode? No, absolutely not. Mm. You haven't earned your stripes yet. Disappointing. The power of dyslexia compels you. Yeah. <laughs> Do celebrities get diarrhea? Can't imagine Z- Zendaya experiencing what I'm going through right now because she doesn't eat anything. Yeah, that chick is a stick. Yeah, but uh, Charlie Man the God is a pretty skinny too, right? What's Boy, does his eyebrows. What's his name? Pleasuring yourself with the vape. Try <laughs> masturbation instead. Masturbation alone or Mast- with a friend <laughs> is a great, safe alternative to vaping. What in a va- what's in a vape? It's targeted at you guys. Apparently, an edge. That's both my vices. <laughs> I think that's that- both my vices in one. Uh, so every time you want to fucking vape, just go jerk off wherever you are. Yes. Me. <laughs> is the is the natural state of the soul quiet or chaos? Talk about cashier. Look, buddy, it's transient, shifting like water. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whoever invented toilet paper that turns red to show you're done needs a raise for uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the color change technology is... Bro, really? In my mind, I'm like, wait, there's toilet paper that turns red to indicate? <laughs> no, it means you're making yourself bleed. No, I know. Uh, okay, just making sure. How dare you make me bleed my blood? <laughs> Last night, I told a customer he looked like quote unquote, if Pete Davidson drank water <clears throat> and then asked him if he gets that a lot and he was like, quote unquote, obviously no one has ever said that to me in my life. <laughs> what? No. 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 <laughs> it's like an anti-joke. Yeah. Yeah, it's an anti-joke. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Folks who don't give you a recipe because it's a family secret are very odd. First of all, it's not like your family is living off these cinnamon <laughs> rolls. And secondly, you've told me you cheat on your wife before. So, like, is it fucking clove or not? <laughs> <laughs> Did I redeem myself? Fuck! Yeah, that, that was way. good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Thanks. I better no- get another Chani one. <laughs> I got you. Have you heard of the ancient Greek hero Buffetes? He was a lot like Achilles. He had just one weakness, except instead of his heel, it was his groin. You may have heard of Achilles' heel, but <laughs> have you heard of <laughs> Buffetes' <laughs> nuts? Buffetes. 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 I never knew you could lose respect I, through <laughs> reading this. God damn. Besides being an that idiot. That was so good when you said Buffetes. Like, you gave it a legitimate <laughs> pronunciation. I was like, yo, he doesn't see it coming. Yeah. This is great. I play a lot of God of War, so, <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you see how my cousin, re- re- like, proofread it before? He actually went through it. <laughs> that was like a pretty good pronunciation. Yeah. Uh, learning about OJ Sons was the first time. Are you serious? Jesus Christ. 143 <laughs> yards <laughs> per <laughs> game? Wait <laughs> until he finds about naked gun. Yeah, man. It's oh. <laughs> 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 wow, Kobe that, teeth. That's so good, dude. Oh, yeah, I got you, dog. Thank you, man. I really Rest appreciate that. You did such a good job. Kathy <laughs> 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 Griffin <laughs> looks like <laughs> three. Sh- <laughs> 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 Kathy Griffin looks like Freeze Giant Macaulay Culkin, dude. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> 
I thought that, but if you told me it was actually Macaulay Culkin, I would totally believe it. Right? You. Yeah, black girls say, daddy, and Mexican girls say, papi, what the fuck, work white girls say? Punch me harder, Kyle. <laughs> 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 If a person went to Harvard and is currently doing keto, keto, ke- which do you think they mentioned first? How intense would the battle be inside of them? <laughs> yeah, I'm on keto. Oh, I smell like fucking rust. <laughs> Transgender pussy low key fire because that shit custom built on probably guy <laughs> heat a leather interior. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Easy reupholster this pussy. Yo, that's the the scene from Sunch. Isn't that the fish that says, "Oh, brother"? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy brother stinks. Thanks. More like, "Oh, brother, where art thou, <laughs> cock? Nice, it's dude. gone." Thanks, bro. This is Sean's <laughs> POV at work. <laughs> <laughs> pooping all by yourself, beautiful. <laughs> That's not how it, it's pooping all by yourself, beautiful. Uh, no, <laughs> Sean's was a better Bobby. Pooping all by yourself, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can't do Bobby. Pooping Bob, all Bob, by Bob, yourself, Bobby's so like, I can't do Bobby. Pooping all by yourself, beautiful. I can do a. Uh, I can do Hank pooping all by yourself. I'm sorry, beautiful. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Coughing up blood. That's weird. I don't remember eating this much blood. <laughs> 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 what so, so, someone said this is this is a uh, this is how Kamala walks around with Joe Biden in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> someone said this is why you never see him making speeches. I mean, go for him, though, dude. Somebody was on a mission. Not like that, bud. Memes are the fastest Check. form of communication. The sun could go supernova today, and in the eight minutes it would take. The light to reach us. I'd see a picture of the Teletubby <laughs> sun baby that someone captioned. Billions must cry. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you something, man. Yeah, all of the I used my, to my, all my equipment is malfunctioning right now. Yo, it's it's it's, the, it's, it's the, just it's your the, headphones. It's, the, it's just the headphones. It's the, it's the ox cable. You just gotta take it out, and put it back in. You know, it's like the old school where you gotta like twist it a little bit. I'll just stay like this. All that microphone doesn't. Know. <laughs> Yay! Oh. I was gonna say that's where your name's at. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, it's the end. It's finally over. Thank God. Now everyone say how much fun they had and how great it was. Were we supposed to say that? <laughs> was this PowerPoint or Google slide? <laughs> PowerPoint. Oh, I did include this today, last minute. I just saw it. On, I just screenshot this on Instagram. Yo, Fifty Cent is one of the best follows that you can follow. Oh, for sure, bro. You don't he, even need to follow the news. He tweeted this: Megan Thee Stallion accused of harassment by cameraman who said he was forced to watch her have sex. Uh, blah blah blah. Foreign country while she had sex with a woman, and Fifty Cent said, "He said it, it's it's the part about my court that got me." He said, "This cameraman and the lawyer who made this claim should be punched in the head." I'm sorry, two women start making now. I'm not offended. He said, "This case is thrown out of my court." <laughs> <laughs> Emily Garcia, is a damn yeah, I mean that she. Is. I mean, unless she just sucks, you know. But she seems nice. She drank the punch, you know what I mean? She definitely got diddied, so you gotta yeah. you know you gotta give it to her. Man, Carlos has been on a diddy roll today. Dude, I have I've he even been I'm having on his diddy Instagram. nightmares. I was I mean, really? diddy I'm seriously for weeks. scared of Diddy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did he do it? That's what I'm saying. Bro. I mean, we got at this point we can't be scared about Diddy. We gotta think about the all all the mysterious diddies out there. Yeah, that's in that industry. That's what I'm saying they come in all shapes and sizes. There hasn't bro. been any stories about Diddy and Biggie though. Like did anything happen there? I don't know. No, nah, because he always kept one eye on him. Yeah, I saw that meme. <laughs> nobody knew where the other one was. He was like this. He was like, always <laughs> But that eye was pointed directly at him. <laughs> like that. This one, that's, this is where this is Diddy walking around the room. Diddy. All right, yeah, so everything was great. It was great to have you on the podcast, man. Um, and uh, we definitely want to do this again and reschedule. Oh, and hopefully you bring lie. more beer. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you bring more beer. No, we had a great time. I was the, we needed this, man. Um, and it's always great to have on great guests like you. Uh, and it's uh, you know you're also a family. I love you very much. Uh, it's um, uh, I really appreciate you making time and coming out here. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, don't open fucking credit cards for my mom again, bro. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I never did that. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. I was trying to hit you where it hurt. Uh, just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you guys. 
I'm gonna come over to the Lost City and get some goddamn fucking. Wait, you guys got food too, right? Yeah, we got food on site. We got events most of the week. Oh, Today's site. You guys have live music. This Friday we do. We have a band called Off Orbit playing. They're pretty mm. good. Yeah, Wait, Lost City's. Charles is gonna, I'm gonna play drums at Eric Charles there very soon. I'll do my own audio. That's all good. That's good. Mm. Yeah, that's the air's right across the street. That's that's yeah, what that's, that's, that's what it is. Every yeah. time I pass it, yeah. He stops by here once in a while to go use my bathroom in the middle of the day. I really, I really <laughs> want you to just give me beer, but I just go like, oh no, it's too early. It's too early. But the in the back of my mind, beer. No, we don't. Yeah, it's not like crack rock. You come smoking. <laughs> You fucking crackhead. I'm kidding. I love you. Yay, which of Carlos' family member are we going to get next? Let's see if we get <laughs> his brother on. Yeah, okay. I told Randy. Yo. And no, not that one. The other one. Dylan? <laughs> not play. Uh, Dylan? Yo, me and Carlos have to switch complete personas for a day, by the way. Are you going to shave your head? No, I'll oh just get a bald God, cap. Dude, gonna I would it? crush it. Oh, I'm going to get cap? a bald cap, and I'm, we're going to get him the closest Oh, wave. wait. We had a... Uh, his wife's been here, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I bring it. Juice has been on? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep the, you know, I'm just trying to keep it interesting. <laughs> and I just At this point, like, we need your entire family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get everybody on here. <clears throat> My dad. Bro, your dad would be a trip. My dad's great. Yeah. Your dad would be hilarious. He'd probably get canceled from all the racist shit. I was, I was talking to his dad at his birthday, and his dad's like, Yeah, fuck this guy. I don't want to talk to him at all, basically. <laughs> talking about you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his dad's just like old Cuban Bill Murray. I was like talking his ear off, and he's like just looking in every other direction, like, okay, get me away from this kid, bro. Yeah, I, d- I don't do that to you. Huh? I don't do that to you. I think, yeah, you do. Yeah, definitely. That's where I got it from. That's mm. how you treated me my whole entire life. <laughs> from, from, oh, from, 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 from shrooms from to shrooms. Skyrim. From shrooms to Skyrim. From shrooms to Skyrim. From shrooms to Skyrim. From shrooms to Skyrim. From Big man, cake man.